today, what the raw are we making? We are making broccoli slaw. In previous episode, we made a broccoli floret salad. And one great way to cross utilize our leftover broccoli stem is making a broccoli slaw. For this, you're going to need some special equipment, one being a mandolin. A mandolin is a very handy tool for making uniform cuts fast and easy. Here we have on our julienne blade, so we're going to be making matchstick size pieces. And we're also going to be needing our Vitamix, which is a Heist powered blender. And we're also going to be using, this tool is called a microplane. And this is going to be for our garlic to shave it really fine. If you don't have the high powered blender though, you can just as easily take and some of our ingredients is this one. This is a, a lemon and you can squeeze the juice. So you don't quite, and if you didn't have this, you could always hand cut the julians. Or use a box grater. That's another great way to get it done quick and easy. We're so creative. Yes, you are. I love it. Alright, broccoli slaw. So first I'm going to start by using our mandolin here. And I have our whole broccoli florets. You want to be very careful because mandolins are very sharp. They come with this knuckle guard. Trust me, I've used it without it and I'm lucky to have knuckles left. So, always safety first. And while I'm shredding these, why don't you go ahead and show them how to make our dressing. Okay. For the dressing, I have one lemon. This has been peeled and seeded. I have one clove of garlic. And I'm just going to take and microplane it. And the same as Amanda, watch your fingers. And to get rid of the extra, smack it. So one tablespoon of organic agave. Agave is a low glycemic sweetener. And it is very, very delicious. And lastly, we have some pink Himalayan sea salt. This is one teaspoon. And one fourth cup of olive oil. This is extra virgin cold pressed. Beautiful Julian pieces. Thank you. It's going to be a gorgeous slaw. So for this, a manual blender. Just take and everything's on low. You can see how finely this is shredded. You can also see that I have some of the bigger pieces left. Don't be afraid to use these. Chop them up, put them on some salads. No wasting. And we're going to end up with about three cups. And our dressing. Whisk together. And of course the flavors marry best when you let it have some time to marinate. It's also good to eat for right now. This is a great salad to bring to a barbecue or any type of sporting event because coleslaw complements a lot of social dishes. Absolutely. And there you have it. Broccoli stem coleslaw.